Hey beautiful guys, um, I am almost wrapped on the summer photo shoot that um, I'm going to put out for you guys for Aphrodite and Co. Okay, for our two pieces girl because we're outside because it's hot and we're half naked because uh, baby who, we can't be naked too, we're going to be naked, we're going we're gonna to be giving body, alright, um, I just came out here to say like, over the years, you know what I'm saying, I've always been a plus size girl, I've always been bigger than my peers, and you know how you look back on it, and you're just like, wow, I really wasn't that big back then, or like, you know, and stuff like that, but now, you know, as I'm growing and growing over the years, as I've gotten older, you know, but also like from a freshman 15 standpoint to now just like, I... You know, I'm getting bigger. I'm eating. It is what it is. Um, I just want to, because sometimes I wonder if some people are not comfortable with buying Aphrodite and Co. Just because they're not comfortable with themselves. And, and I, I'm just here to let you know and just to reassure you that you are, look, as I'm touching and doing all kinds, because I'm about to head back out there but um i just want to comfort you and let you know that you are beautiful you are beautiful and like you know before it's just it was like a bigger than my peers type of situation um but now it's like no i'm full-fledged a bbw plus size woman and so when women would you know say something like oh you know yes I would love to see an actual plus size woman um you know model this or try this on and try that on like you know I understand now um because a lot of the plus size models they're beautiful and they're slim in certain places but now taking pictures I'm like oh girl oh girl you know my girl the the child the cankles or like well really I ain't got cankles but like my ain't my feet are swollen right now um my belly meat child is belly yin and I ain't got on no sick shapewear and baby this is very loose and goosey and live your best free life um and girl it's okay we're gonna do a little smoothing okay because that's basically how to look with a shape but you know just so uh, you know my um uh what's that called uh cottage cheese down there on my tummy um but, <laughs> but y'all like i really and i just felt like i needed to make this video because you know i was looking at the video and like while i feel like normally somebody would be mortified or even maybe a point in time in my life where I was like, oh my God, like, you know, just really freaking out about what my body looks like. And it's not to a point where it's just like, oh, I'm just thick. I'm just big. Ball. No, like I do have a full figured, okay, fat body or plus size body or P-H-A-T fat body. I have a full fledged of that. I have a fupa, the wings, child. My ankles swell up when I'm on them for too long. So, in all that, I still looked at the videos. I still was looking at the pictures. Like, I look good. Girl, hold on. Hold on. Get into it. Get into it. Get. Okay, I've always been somebody whose confidence just definitely superseded, you know, the way that I looked. Um, but it is, not, I don't know, this just feels different. It feels different and it feels good. Um, and I think I'm also saying this to say because I am on the journey in which, you know, I am trying to now consciously eat better. Um, I'm starting that, starting to actually use my gym membership that I pay for. 
Because honestly, in, in the past, I was never a person that was shy of working out. Um, I was on a cheerleading team, varsity at that. I've been on a step team, dance teams, modern ballet. Since I was a kid, I've always been active and that's never been my issue um, before. Um, I do feel like I've kind of sought sunk into those ways um now of like you know when you're growing up and your doctor's like well you can't be sitting on the couch sitting on the couch who if you knew me in high school baby i did everything home was not a place that i was all right um or just eating chips or bad food all the time child your girl love her good salad i love now i love me some cake too but that's none of your business um I, um, I, you know, have always, you know, really kind of borderline, it was just like normal, but at the same time, like I said, I'm saying all this to say that I am making conscious efforts and I'm also interested in having surgery so that I can have a little help to get my body smaller. Cause like I said, guess what? Um, I've always been big, always from the beginning of time. Okay, child, I was an eight pound baby. <laughs> Even coming out the womb before I can put anything in my mouth, I was a victim, okay? Um, but yeah, just to transform my life, really get some help with that. And that's another thing, um, like when I work out, um, my appetite is a monster, okay? It goes from like, I can just eat salads and stuff like that or like I can just eat a little bit of something or not eat all the time but when I work out oh baby a monster I kill a big jumbo salad that's supposed to last me a couple of, yeah, in a sitting like so that's another thing and you know I think it's important for me to have this moment now just because I feel like even, you know, I do everything that I need to do for the surgery, the surgery goes through well or, you know, because I'm not going to lie, this whole Jackie O thing has been <sighs> taxing on my spirit. It really has. Um, because, you know, she went in and she expected to come out like most people do when they go in surgery, like most people do when they do you know whether it's for a cosmetic you know uh their own personal reason or whether it's for health reasons that somebody has to um you know go have surgery um but it, it's it's really messed with me about surgery um not even getting into the, all the politics of dc and her and just everything it has really because not only do I want to get this surgery, you know, I, do I want to get the sleeve, but I also want to go back for a tummy tuck because I don't want just loose skin just hanging there. You know, it's bad enough when you have a baby and you have that there, you know, losing weight, having a baby, all that stuff. Like, I would want that tightened up just as anybody else would. Um, and so just thinking about it, it's a scary thought. Um... You know, a lot of, and I just, I just wanted to speak up against the shaming, the shaming um, of people getting surgery. Let me tell you something. You can call me all kinds of whatever, everything but a child of God because I want to have surgery. But guess what? A lot of what people don't realize is when you're plus size genetics has to play into that um habits have to play into that and just circumstances have to play into that like you know it is a thing that if a lot of people in your family are big guess what you are you know you will follow that trend um jason momoa like people always ask him like what's your workout regimen what's your workout regimen? and he's like hey, this ain't nothing but me being Samoan." um that's not to say that's the case for everybody but a lot of times it is and doctors are learning more and more that you can't just say hey go go walk and eat a salad and then it's enough especially once you get to a point um and habits again that has stuff to do with it because even before 
you become an adult and you make your own decisions, you can end up eating some and used to eating some really bad things or, you know, fast food or whatever the case may be, not being told that you have to finish your food before you leave the table, just different stuff like that. Again, you continue that through life. Um, if you're not plus size, like, or how many times has somebody ever looked at, um some food and they have like this much left and they are like a little and they're full it's crap but it's a little left it's not a love you know enough to take home and i ain't leaving no food there you know for nobody that like you know or hell and if i gave it to a homeless person it'd be disrespectful so doing that just that little bit pushes your stomach and makes your stomach bigger and then you are able to consume more and more and more and just stuff like that so habits that you had since a child okay something that you develop or like even kids how often you know kids get little candy kids there's very few very very disciplined usa parents that don't give their kids candy or don't give their kids um something quick to eat like a little hot pocket or something like that okay we work a lot okay um and then again it's a generational thing so time and time again and also circumstances if you are not in the best circumstance and that's not just financially because yes finances do play a part of it but also what is your job life like you know or i guess you could say finance contribute to if you have to have two jobs in order to sustain your household, to sustain your child, then nine times out of 10, you don't have the time to go to the grocery store every day, every other day, or every three days, whatever the case may be, so that you can keep buying salads and healthy food for you and your family to eat. So yes, a, a, a make it yourself pizza will slip in there. Uh, some fast food will slip in there. It happens. It happens. Hell. You got fast food vegan options and just because a vegan don't mean it's healthy, you know, um, how taste is a big thing, you know, now nobody wants to, you know, just taste just anything, but now people are getting more creative. They're learning and all in all above all else, right? All, all in all above all else. When you get these surgeries, when you take these shots, when you, and we're going to get on shot shaming in just a moment, but when you take these shots and stuff like that, yeah, it doesn't, it's, it's not the cure end all be all. There is a lot of mindset and things that have to be changed and retaught and done and stuff like that. So guess what? If you see a person who used to be my size and they get down to a size 4, 6, 10, 12, whatever, okay? You need to chill on them because, bro. There, it takes a mindset change. It takes a disciplinary change. It takes, and sometimes you just need a quick help to see that. And then, you know, you can get the ball rolling. And guess what? It takes some discipline beforehand too. Because guess what? If you think they don't make you lose weight beforehand, they do. If you think they don't make you follow a certain food plan beforehand, they do. If they don't me think... If you don't think they make you drink a certain amount of water beforehand, after they do. So guess what? Even though they did it with surgery, they still put some work, effort, and energy into it. Okay? Like y'all are so hell bent on people that don't that inhabit a body that you don't own. Like, why the hell would you be mad? If somebody lifted their Escalade and put it on 42s or whatever the hell, like you might comment on it and be like, oh shit, that's, why would they do that? But you're going to keep it pushing. At least you should, because guess what? It's none of your business. Right? So drive your own vehicle. Take care of yourself. We get being an advocate for those around you, whatever the case may be, but like, people be, like, I've never understood that. And I never went through it because, you know, I haven't had surgery yet. But, or I haven't, yeah, you know, 
So just to hear that people talk about people who get surgery is weird to me. It is so weird. Like you think they're fat and ugly or you think they're lazy and whatever else. But yet you got Twitter fingers on a post. Instead of minding your business and doing what you're doing. Like I'm trying, I don't think billionaires, millionaires and stuff like that. I don't think they stop and then sit up there and just be posting and calling people fat on people's posts because they don't have time to do stuff like that. And if you got time to do stuff like that, guess what? You might not be fat, but you got some other issues that you need to go work out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, take that sidebar. Exit stage left now. Um... Also, to people, the newest shame is the semi-glutide shame. <sighs> Look, first off, all I'm going to say is, mind your business, okay? Mind your business. Mind your business, okay? Initially, I became very passionate about it because... It was something that I was wanting to use to lose weight. And like I said, sometimes you just need that big jump and that push to help you out. What a lot of doctors are realizing when you do surgery, when you do the shot, not only is it changing, like especially with surgery, like making your stomach smaller so, oh, you get skinnier because you eat less, but it's changing your metabolism. I had a doctor tell me this. It's changing your metabolism to burn off those calories. Y'all don't all know them skinny people who can eat a damn house and be, be able to turn to the side and disappear tomorrow. Like, it is a thing. So, to me, I just... So, initially, I was, like, kind of frustrated with it because it's like, you know, why... Because people's defenses, there are people out here that are not able to get semaglutide who have, who are diabetics. Okay. Now, I pose this as a question in my ignorance and to say, like, I just, what's going on insurance-wise? What's going on um, medically? What is going on? And the reason why I say that, because why are they not able to get it? Big thing, right? So, I started on Ozempic, but I was not clear to go to the next level with the insurance that I have because they, because I, I'm not pre-diabetic, nor do I have diabetes. Okay. But that meant if I did have those conditions that I could get it, that it was a space and a place for me to get it and buy it. Or not, yeah, not buy it. But, you know, for me to have to use. So, because I don't have diabetes and they're giving, you know, now that creates at least one person is able to get what I normally would have gotten. So, my confusion is, why are they not able to get it? Now, initially, people said it was because people are using it for weight loss. It was a shortage. It was a trend and it was a very big uptick. I understand for sure but at the same time now at a point in time yes I could totally agree with you that was the reason why people could not get this shot they cannot get their medicine there was a shortage for people who needed it okay so much so that even Anthony Anderson said this and again yes now let's keep in mind that Hollywood probably started this whole thing first because that's just where it trickles down to. The secret got out, okay? Which, if you look at Anthony Anderson, he has lost a lot of weight. I can't say that's due to the shots because I've heard that people who are actually diabetic, they are. it's hard for them to lose the weight, even with the shot. Okay. Again, um, at the beginning, I can see that definitely being the reason. I can see that. De but now that you have... Wegovi, which is basically Ozempic, just a new name, and it's strictly for weight loss, okay? Same thing, semaglutide. Or if you go to a little 
place or whatever, and they give you a semaglutide shot, whatever you want to call it, right? All I'm going to say is Big Pharma not going to miss out on no money. Big Pharma ain't missing out on no coin, not no dollar, not no nan. Okay? They not missing out on it. So, in my head, because I'm like, Big Pharma ain't missing out on no money. They not going to go with not being able to make their money off medication. So, my thought process behind that is okay well they see it's an uptick it's a trend whatever you want to call it so guess what we're gonna produce more we are gonna produce more oh ain't nobody going without you got the money we gonna give you the shot like so i just i get the initial frustration but when it comes down to it again like I said, I'm saying this in my ignorance. Please let me know in the comments. Please let me know if you're a diabetic and you were denied your medication because they didn't have enough. Let me know. Because, like, cause, but then I'm going to counter with questions. I have questions. Just to me, on the, this is just my perspective. And on the outside looking in, considering that they were willing to give me the shots. They're willing to give other people the shot, you know, or people who they're willing to give other people way go we who are will cover all that stuff. What is like, what is, is it your insurance? Is it just you having to pay some like, cause the only thing I can think it being is money. So what, who is what, who don't have it? Who don't have it? Who don't have the access to it? Who does not have enough stock of it? Um, hell, even Amazon is selling it, okay? Um, and they're uh, not just all willy-nilly. It's not like you can go get it just like you can go get a candle or a cup holder. But, you know what I'm saying, on their Amazon pharmacy. <sighs> so, um, and if it's the case, like I said, that it has turned around and they have now are meeting the demand Furthermore, like, I don't get me wrong. I feel like people who have diabetes should get the shot first. And, you know, they should be able to get the meds first. And then, you know, people who are using them for weight loss after that. Um, and even if they broke it down by need and stuff like that as far as... Because I did, okay. And again, I am... How much I weigh, okay. I am a very plus-size woman. And so... For me, it is something I look at as like, hell, it's to help me from becoming pre-diabetic or having diabetes because my weight upticking so high. So, you know, again, that was another thing that I didn't get that people are upset or angry about. Um, that it really didn't make too much sense to me, to be honest. Um, but um, I did see the this morning actually a video of a girl and she looked like she had a bbl tummy tuck the whole nice child i'm talking about who okay she had it how she had it when she had it it was giving fashion over who but um you know she, and she was she said she was taking the shots and you know in the comments it was like why are you taking the shots why are you taking the shots if you got a bbl why are you taking the shots um i definitely was thinking the same thing uh, well, no, 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 no. I wasn't thinking, it, like, I was like, initially, my thought was, well, how y'all know she really don't got diabetes? Like, it is a diabetic medication, like, even though she got a little snatch of BBL, she probably still, you know. Now, after I saw, um, that she was going to a weight loss clinic to get the shots, I then found out that, you know, she was doing it for weight loss reasons. And, you know, to me, her stomach on flat, flat, and ass on fat, fat. But, I don't know. But, guess what? Guess what? It ain't none of my business. It ain't none of my business. Um, again, if there are people that are really out here not able to get it due to supply, I feel it. I feel the upset. I feel the, you know what I'm saying? Because for the people who had to 
go through that time period of not being able to take their medication and have their medication because others were um, taking it for weight loss reasons, um, especially if, you know, you are small or skinny or you, you know, if you're just up here trying to lose five or 10 pounds and stuff like that, then I get the frustration. I understand. Um, me on the other hand, I need to lose two to 300 pounds. All right. So, <laughs> so like, a hit dog, a hollering bitch. I'm a hollering. I'm a hollering. But, um, but yeah. So, that, those are my two soapboxes that I wanted to get on about stuff about weight loss. Because let us lose this weight. Let us lose this weight. Okay? Like, are you afraid of the competition? Let me know. You afraid? No. Um, but more importantly... All in all, no matter how I lose the weight, me not lose the weight, whatever happens, I think I'm pretty beautiful. I think, look at my curls falling, y'all. I need to get out there. I think, like, oh, guys, okay, okay, okay. Um, no. You could tell these was curl ass. Like, these had a chance to sit all day. These back here had a chance to sit all day. But, um... All in all, I'm beautiful. I am a pretty woman. Okay, I'm, I'm, I am a pretty woman. I am beautiful. And guess what? It's important for you to know that about you too. That you are beautiful. And that's why I'm going to say, hey, beautiful. We go on the website, hey, beautiful. Um, If you are feeling down and out, don't. Okay, baby, do not. Um, I will sh I will insert some raw footage. Like I'm gonna touch up and smooth some stuff, you know, or smooth like my cottage cheese. Okay, you gonna see this fupa, but I'm gonna smooth my cottage cheese. You know what I'm saying for the aesthetics of marketing, cause that's just marketing. But like, you know, I'll insert some raw footage into this video, child. Um, so y'all can see, but to look at myself with so much hype and just like excitement, like girl, because, and it comes from a place of thinking of a time when I didn't feel that way, when I didn't feel that way. So if you don't feel that way, it's not that I'm just some, you know, unicorn whose mind is just Disneyland on steroids, but no, because I've been there. I understand I get it and sometimes I do think that prevents people from wanting to shop Aphrodite and Co but guess what you're beautiful let it show let it hang okay I mean okay you know I do feel like there is a way, you know, we can keep ourselves together, make things look presentable, good, and you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm smoothing my cottage cheese, just because I ain't wear no shape well. My shape well wasn't going to make the food go no well. But, but, hear me out, hear me out. But, you know, just smooth it up. Maybe snatch it in just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So, I ain't going to do nothing but give you the... The shape will affect in the pictures. But look, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're gorgeous, honey. Um, and if you don't feel that way, they ain't lying when they say get your head on. Get your head on. Do if you're in the makeup, do some makeup. Do some makeup. And last but not least, baby. Get you some drip, okay? Get you some drip. Go to www.aphroditeandco.com. Baby, www.aphroditeandco.com. And get you some, get you some cute stuff. Get you, get you some cover-ups. Get you some two pieces. Get you a dress. And wear that bit. Wear that bit and get with your hair done and your makeup done. Girl, and I don't care if you go to Walmart, you better go. Girl, 
girl because life is gonna life and if it's one thing that i've learned is humility well not humility no um one thing i've learned is just being grateful like steve harvey said you might live with all your family and you can't stand it but guess what the end of the night, you have a place to lay your head. Hell, even if it's on the floor, if it get hot outside, if it get cold outside, you are in a home. If it rain outside, if it thunder outside, you are in a home. Um, you know, you got a bed, you got food to eat. It may not be top chef, but it might be top ramen, okay? But you're not going to bed hungry. And, you know, just being thankful for every little thing that you have. Another day to wake up. Because guess what? Even if you ain't got none of that, you got another day on this earth to change that all around. So that's all I got for you. Thanks for being my A1 since day one. And y'all, you're beautiful. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.